So I'm here tonight at the Welsh Mill Hub and that's been to celebrate the seven apprentices who've gone through 2013-14 and achieved so much and have clearly enormously benefited their lives and benefited from community. So what makes adventure unique and different is that it's really self-led. Other courses sort of cater for their syllabus but in adventure you sort of create your own journey and you work out where you're going. Um, so they're really supportive of where you want to go and they're always listening to your future and before you know it you've sort of got there. You can make it what you want, you get the experience out that you want. Um, it's also a lot more hands-on, there's a real ethic of just do it and just try it um, and take a risk and I love that. I think here you learn by just jumping in and not knowing quite what the outcome is going to be and like making the mistakes is where you learn. What I've loved most about adventure is having the opportunity to try out loads of different projects. What makes adventure different to other courses is that you have a lot of responsibility being an apprentice. The, um, the challenges we receive are real and they have a real impact in the community which you can see immediately. We had the launch night which I um, organised which was basically opening the doors of adventure and putting on some music and bringing people in to see the space. Three days after that we went to the college and we basically um, held an enterprise challenge with 800 school students. The first project when we were designing and building the hub and I was sort of thrown into managing that and I learned a lot about um, how to work as a team of different people from different backgrounds. We worked with a guy called Richard Wallace, he's a local artisan carpenter. Uh, he showed us all these skills because everything he uses in his practice is recycled materials. Uh, this is the door that me and Richard Wallace and Joe built. It's uh, all recycled wood. That was an ongoing project. We would all get together and come up with different ideas and make these wonderful uh, furniture and doors and fittings. What stands out for me over the last nine months that I've really loved um, is the events that I've put on, definitely. That feeling of kind of working really hard for something which is a really new area for me and then it actually happening and going well. Um, so I was involved in Participate Froome where we engaged with the local community and then to go from that to running um, my own pizza oven with one of the other apprentices and developing that into a business to then go on to doing my own projects. So there's so much variety within a supportive network. So as a person, having finished adventure, I feel different in the sense that I feel more resilient to um, new things, new opportunities that are coming my way. I feel like I've been tested quite heavily um, through all of these challenges and things we've been given. Uh, well, over the past nine months, I think I've become a lot braver. Um, I was working as a teacher um, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do next. I've uh, changed dramatically <laughs> since then. Um, like friends and family like, couldn't believe how more focused I was and driven towards doing the things I wanted to get done. Uh, I feel like I have more faith in my abilities. Um, and that's to work in a team, to sort of trust myself, to take risks, to explore different options for my life and what I'm good at. In the last nine months, the skills I've gained are a lot about business management, how to set up a business, uh, project management. The part of the programme that I've loved the most has been in the last few months having the freedom to um, go on a lot of different courses and learn more skills in facilitation and coaching. Some of the toughest times with me was getting my head around how to be with a completely different group of people. Through adventure I think my confidence has grown through the support that I've um, encountered with adventure um, and just people behind you saying go for it and you can do it. Well, I'd had dreams but not really any goals and now I've been making goals towards my dreams, in a way. My communication skills have been one of the biggest things that have helped me out here. Just being able to go out into the community and talk to like local shop owners and business owners and things like that. 
Um, so through my experience in adventure, I have um, become a writer, so a freelance writer uh, for an early years magazine. And I'm also a contributor to Independent Chester, which is a social enterprise supporting independent businesses. Um, and I'm just in the process of setting up uh, one of the first UK food assemblies, which is a, also a social enterprise linking um, local producers to local customers through an online hub. Uh, so that's quite exciting. So since being at Adventure, um, I've had the chance to get into events management and organisation. Um, I'm now working with a woodwork guy and we build tree houses, meditation huts, sheds, you name it, all out of recycled wood. Um, really fantastic, still creative, but I'm also earning a wage. I've been trying to build a brand uh, around skating, biking, graffiti, and making clothing uh, and like equipment for sports and stuff. We're getting our first run of t-shirts printed in a couple of weeks uh, so, and hoodies as well, so looking forward to that. I think this has become a really, really interesting project that could be rolled out all over the country. Through Adventure I've realised that anything is possible um, and if you put your mind to something you can achieve a lot. 